Sa lesson natin ngayon, i-raise natin yung mga complex na numbers natin in two powers. So, kung meron tayo, halimbawa, ang complex number like 2 plus 3i raised to the second power, conceptually, i-multiply nyo yung 2 plus 3i by itself twice. So, you will um, copy this twice. So, you have 2 plus 3i times 2 plus 3i. Tapos, i-foil nyo siya or multiply nyo yung dalawang binomials or here, complex number para makuha nyo yung 2 plus 3i squared. At kung meron ka namang 2 plus 5i raised to the fifth power, conceptually, you multiply it five times. So, you have 2 plus 5i times 2 plus 5i times 2 plus 5i and so on. However, um, by raising the complex number to a power like this, Medyo matrabaho kung uh, uulit-ulitin natin i-multiply by itself yung ating complex number. So, ang gagamitin natin, meron tayong theorem ngayon na gagamitin at yun yung tinatawang na Demoyais theorem na kung saan pwede natin erase yung complex numbers into a power na hindi mo na kinakailangang manually i-multiply ang bawat complex number by itself. So, ang Demoyais theorem, sabi dito, if Z or yung complex number mo is equal to the trig form, which is r cosine theta plus i sine theta, then z raised to n will be equal to r to the cosine plus i sine theta raised to the n power can be evaluated as r raised to n times cosine n theta plus i sine n theta. So ito yung expansion or ito yung um, gagamitin nating formula ngayon, or theorem, na kung saan pwede natin erase yung 2 plus 5i to the 5th power without multiplying it by itself 5 times. So, yung una example natin, um, isolve daw natin si negative 1 plus i squared of 3 raised to the 12th power. So, kung uh, iisipin nyo kung kailangan yung i-expand yung negative 1 plus i squared of 3, mumultiply nyo siya by itself 12 times, at sobrang trabaho nun kung gagawin natin. Siguro abutin tayo ng isang oras para lang masolve itong problem na to. So, kailangan natin yung Demoyais theorem to um, evaluate the complex number. So, ang mga steps na gagamitin natin, step 1 is to convert your complex number into its trig form. Kasi yung Demoyais theorem, kailangan nasa trig form siya para natin siya magamit. So, yung R natin is basically the absolute value of your complex number. At yung absolute value ng complex number natin is simply the square root of A squared plus B squared. Kaya meron tayong square root of negative 1 squared plus square root of 3 squared which gives us R equals 2. So, kung meron tayong R, hanapin na lang natin yung theta to complete our trig form. At tan inverse of B over A will give us negative 60 degrees. So, meron na tayong R, meron na tayong theta, pwede na natin siyang i-convert into its trig form. Para magamit na natin yung bagong theorem na gagamitin natin to solve this problem. So, ang paggamit uh, sa Demoyais theorem, Z raised to N is equal to R raised to N times cosine n times theta plus i sine n theta. So you have 2 raised to 12, 2 yung iyong r, and yung iyong 12, which is given right here. At yung theta mo mamaya, na gagamitin natin, will be negative 60. So we have 2 raised to 12, cosine 12 times negative 60 degrees, plus i sine 12 times negative 60 degrees. At pag evaluate natin to, magkakaroon tayo ng 2 raised to 12 which gives us 4,096. At yung cosine negative 60 times 12 naman is magiging cosine negative 720. At alam natin yung 720 is more than 360 degrees. At kung gagamitin natin yung, yung unit circle, wala yung 720, 720 sa unit circle. So paliitin nyo lang siya by subtracting 360 um, dun sa 720. At pag lumiit siya, mapapansin nyo na 360 na yung uh, angle natin which is coterminal dito sa 720. Kaya pwede na natin gamitin yung unit circle. And to evaluate itong uh, simplified version ng cosine theta and i sine theta natin, cosine negative 360 degrees sa unit circle will give you 1 at sine negative 360 degrees will give you 0 doon sa ating unit circle. At i-distribute nyo lang siya 40 or 4096 times 1 is 4096 and 4096 plus or multiplied to 0 will be 0. Kaya ang expansion or ang ating negative 1 plus i squared of 3 raised to the sec, um, to the 12th power is equal to 4096.
So sa second example, i-raise naman daw natin si 1 plus i to the 5th power using the Moyes theorem. So yung step 1 natin is to convert yung ating complex number to its trig form which is r cosine theta plus i sine theta. So r is the absolute value of your complex number which gives you square root of 2 at yung theta nyo naman is tan inverse of 1 over 1 which gives you 45 degrees. So na-convert na natin yung ating complex number to its trig form. So we have square root of 2 cosine 45 degrees plus i sine 45 degrees. Now, ready na tayong gamitin yung Moyes theorem para ma-raise natin itong complex number to the fifth power. So we have r to the n times cosine n theta plus i sine n theta which is your Moyes theorem para sa power ng isang complex number. Yung r natin na square root of 2 raised to 5. Tapos yung ating n which is 5, na given dito sa problem, yung exponent, times 45 degrees, which is your theta, and to simplify it, we'll have square root of um, 2 raised to 5th power, cosine 225 plus i sine 225. Now, from this step, kailangan nyo na ng unit circle. So, sa paggamit ng unit circle, hanapin nyo lang si um, 225 degrees, which gives you square root of negative 2 over 2, at yung 225 degrees for sine is negative square root of 2 over 2. Tapos, i-distribute nyo lang yung r to the fifth power nyo. Magkakaroon kayo ng square root of 2 raised to 6. Square root of 2 raised to 6. Both of them are negative kasi negative yung sign nyo dito. Tapos, pagka in-evaluate or simplify natin yung square root of um, 2 raised to the sixth power, it will only give you 8. So, meron ka ngayon negative 8 over 2 minus i, 8 over 2. And to simplify your answer, ang... Um, 1 plus i raised to the 5th power will be equal to negative 4 minus 4i using the Moyes theorem.